I'm saying like, oh, they're just doing that to get players to stay and play the game. But who cares? Who cares whatever the reason is? Free stuff is free stuff. I don't see Genshin gives us free stuff so we can still play the game. Uh, so yeah, this is fantastic. Genshin could never all the good good. Subscribe, please. All right, YouTube. Hello there. I'm live coming to you from Twitch.tv slash forward kitty catty. Um, Twitch.tv slash kitty catty. Yeah, that's the one. Anyway, we have a bunch of new information regarding 1.2 for Water and Waves. So here we have Water and Waves version 1.2 in the two cores moon glow coming August 15th. So that's like a week. This time, the race against the ominous twin moon transform into a journey home, guided by the pristine moon glow. And we have this beautiful art piece, obviously. Uh, it seems to be like a lantern kind of festival. This is like something you do for like, you put your wishes there, or sometimes it's about like, uh, depart people, that stuff. And we can see the beautiful, beautiful uh, Jeji. She's a painter. A painter. I've been thinking of skipping her, but the more I see her, the more I'm kind of thinking of getting her. And we have um, Lee from PGR. I'm just kidding. I don't remember his name. Xiao something. Anyway, he's here. So that's a good, very good piece of art. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. But here we have the version preview. It is here. We get to see it. Unfortunately, it's a bit small to see. But here we can see we have the themed events by Moon's Grace. The Moon Chasing Festival themed events. So I assume we're going to be working with those two people to help prepare the thing. Uh, it looks very, very adorable. I like it a lot. Actually, here we see Yang Yang as well. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It seems to be very adorable. Uh, this might be kind of a chill kind of patch. Um, maybe it's, it's going to be more about the culture of the 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 the, 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 the Huang Long and stuff like that, rather than actually like super heavy story stuff. I think the he the story stuff is probably going to be coming to 1.3 with the the Black Shore, etc. And here we can see the two new Resonator in their full splendor. JG looking absolutely amazing. I love the huge staff with the massive uh, paintbrush at the end. I think she looks fantastic. And the more, as I was saying, the more I look at her and the more I actually really want to get her. She looks so cute. I love her shoes. And here we have, ah, that's his name, Shangli Yao. Um, and he's looking very, very dapper. So we know that this guy is actually working with Motifi. I believe he is a member of that scientific branch. And that's very, very cool. Uh, here we got the two new weapons. So we have confirmation that she's a rectifier user. Here, right there. Rhyme Draped Sprout. And between our design and the fact that it's called Rhyme Draped Sprout, I believe that she's going to be Glacio. Oh, it's here, Glacio, and he's Electro. Makes sense. There it is. That weapon looks absolutely beautiful. I actually really, really like it. I wonder how it looks when it floats. Uh, it must be super cute. And here we have his gauntlet, Verity's Handle. Interesting. I think between the two, I definitely prefer this weapon. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, good times. And then, moving forward, we also get to see a full page here. New quest, True Colors, we are getting... JG's companion story. What does it really mean to create? Will an artist yet again caught up in the past accusation find the courage to confront her past mistakes and tap into her emotion and talents? Could tear to breathe new life into her paintings? Uh, I assume the, the answer is gonna be yes. <laughs> We're gonna help her out with this. I really like her weapon or like the, her huge paintbrush she has. It kind of gives her like a, a witch look to it, right? I, like I could see her just riding that as a broom. <laughs> Like uh, Kiki's delivery service or something. And I actually really like it. And here we have special bonus events. Claim for free. We are getting Shang Li Yao for free. For free? Inside! Converging paths assist in the preparation for the Moon Chasing Festival to claim the five star resonator Shang Li Yao for free. And that is absolutely awesome. A lot of people have been saying, Oh, but if they're giving us a 5-star for free, it's probably gonna be bad. Well, in PGR, they give a lot of 5-star for free as well, or a lot of sometimes 4-star for free, and those characters are actually very good. So just because it's a 5-star doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. People were saying the same for HSR, which is obviously a different company, it's Oyoverse, and Dr. Ratio end up being very good. So I think here is let's not doom scroll just because they're giving us a free character. This is fantastic news. 
And uh, yeah, I think it's probably going to be a Electro DPS, right? Uh, and that's fantastic. That's great. Uh, he's also going to be on Banner, most likely. So if you want to get copies of him, you can. If you want to get his weapon, you can, obviously. But this is fantastic news. Hey, free stuff is great. I'm saying like, oh, they're just doing that to get players to stay and play the game. But who cares? Who cares whatever the reason is? Free stuff is free stuff. I don't see Genshin gives us free stuff so we can still play the game. Uh, so yeah, this is fantastic. Genshin could never, all the good good. Now we also have a new returning event. After the version 1.2 update, eligible returning rovers can get corresponding rewards by completing either check-in or event task. So this is just, if you haven't played in a long time, you can come back and actually get some good rewards. Help you get situated um, back into the game, uh, get into some other things, get some rewards you can kind of catch up for the time you've missed. This is nice for people who maybe um, after the 1.1 story, they just kind of stop playing. I don't know how long it takes before you're eligible for those rewards. Uh, maybe it's like one month, maybe it's three months. I'm not too sure. It kind of depends on the games. But generally, it's around that area. So there it is. And we have one last page here which talk about some of the new stuff. We have new version events. We're getting a gift of Lunar Regents. It's a seven day sign-in event. I assume we're gonna be getting 10 free pools from it, which is great. And we are getting a new Depths of Elysium Realm, the carnival in Slumberland, which sounds fantastic, by the way. I love those names they give for the Elysium Realm. I, I know it doesn't really matter, but I think they sound cool. So this is great. We're gonna get some new rewards. Also, if you could mind, I did a video about that recently. They did talk about a lot of stuff they're putting in the game, um, new features, new quality of life, and they are going to be adding additional rewards to the Elusive Realm. I think um, when Elusive Realm comes out, there'll be some rewards, and then phase two of the patch, the, the, the latter half of the patch, they are going to be adding more rewards that you can grab from there, which is awesome because actually they give you a lot of resources to build your characters, so this is great. We also have Do Echoid's Dream of Electric Sheep. It's a limited time defense event, um, so I assume it, it's going to be those towers, right? So you activate them, monsters come in, you kill them, it's waves of them, and then you get some rewards, so that's good. And we are also getting a rerun or the Alloy Smelt two we had it before i think it was during 1.0 i'm pretty sure or it was early 1.1 either way it's just some combat challenge you just um kill enemies you try to get the highest score as you can it gives you a word it unlocks like every day you get like every day or every two day you get a new challenge you can do that's great also new phantom echo we are getting a new shiny for the dreamless uh, I'm not sure I prefer this version. She looks like uh, she's white and red. I kind of like the base version, but it's always nice. Um, I want to see how she looks in-game, uh, but this looks pretty cool. It's always nice to get some new Phantom uh, for those of us who want to unlock them, right? And that is it. Stay tuned for more. So while we are staying, tu staying tuned for more, we have the trailer that came out uh, right there. So here it talks about the free character again, and the trailer is opened up here. So let's have a look. I actually haven't watched this, so I'm very excited for this. Oh man, I love the cinematics. <laughs> ah, best character. So cute. She's so pretty, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna go back on my word and actually pull for her, 100%. I just love her so much, she's so pretty. I need her and then I need uh, the, 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 the shorekeeper. And then I need Camellia. And then, then I'm satisfied forever. <laughs> That's not true. I will never be satisfied. See, this seems to be a way more chill event, right? Maybe I'm wrong though. Embrace my emotions fully and create the art my heart yearns for. She seems so sad. Of the greatest importance to me. Damn, she's so pretty, dude. I won't give up easily, no matter who or what I'm up against. Ink drops. A weapon looks sick, dude. Oh my god. Springs into life. <gasps> the animation is so pretty. 
create art that truly Yeah, I need her. I need her. I need her. I need her chat. Except myself. Those women who would trust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen. What a nerd. Fulfilled. Those wishes were their oh. cries for help. Ooh. Oh, he does have a gourd. We couldn't see it in the in the art before. That the ways are just like open. Oh, I told you! I told you would have like an Iron Man attack. There it is. There it is. Boom! That looks sick. There it is. Oh my god, he looks way cooler than I thought it would. enjoying the festival is enough for me. We are aware of certain painters that's awesome by the art exchange, nursing grudges and resorting to threats. It's all my fault. Is it a painter? Never heard of him. What really do we have to risk? You never heard of painter? You never seen I art? Masterpieces I wish came from me. Cold, free. Oh, she's so Can like self-conscious. With your truest feelings. Can you create an Oh my god, I love her. Black boxes? Oh, I mean he, he made a box. I'm not sure it has anything to do with black boxes from near. <laughs> That looked... Oh my god, her animations are crazy. He is too, but she looks so pretty. Yeah, I'm definitely getting her. I doubt I'll be able to get a weapon. Because I, like, I, I didn't even manage to get uh, shang -Li's weapon. It is what it is. But she looks insane. The limited time event. As the moon waxes full, Jinju hums with excitement in preparation for the moon chasing festival. It is a beloved tradition where friends and family gather to wish upon the moonlit sky. But before the festival begins, whispers of the moon tree lodge where wishes are granted find their way to you. Intrigued, you decide to go. Uh, you decide to dot 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 actually. So we are getting some tuners, we are getting some echoes, we are getting some echo XP and some um, asteroids. Uh, so you can... it's pool currency. That's cool. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's awesome! It's like a little mini game thing. Oh, I love this actually. It's like you go and you like you spend resources. Like here, there's a currency. Firework shop. We should earn bonus up. We should up. Wait for me. We'll ease those aren't toys. Firework has long been a beloved tradition in Guangdong. Build or upgrade this tool to gain more popularity. Oh, that's so cool! So it's kind of like one of those uh, museum events kind of things in HSR. So you go around and you build your stuff and you maybe place units here and there. You like allocate your resources to try and uh, uh, make the festival um, have better uh, revenue or success. That's really, really cool. I actually like those kind of events. And they do some of those in PGR, right? There was like a... I remember when I played, there was one with like the, a cooking event where like you, you were managing a restaurant. That's really cool. Hold to build. <laughs> Ah, that's great! I'm actually very high for this. Yeah, there it is, and you can like you can decide like you can hire people, and they have different stats and stuff. That's awesome! I love this. That's great. This is a very nice chill event that you can do over time. That I'm super happy they're starting to put some of those. Uh, and here, whoops, sorry. They're getting obviously that was the. That was the companion quest for her. I'm actually very curious about her story. I want to learn more about her for sure. Uh, and here we are actually getting five permanent pool and five uh, special pool, like rated pools. That's cool. Uh, and course, Cosmo has mysteriously shown up near a strange gate, asking you to enter the gate to assist with some kind of test. During the task, Cosmo provide Echoey to significantly boost Resonator's combat power. You can complete the task with your friends. There it is. And also gives you Echo material, Echoes, Echo materials, and some uh, pool currency. Oh, so you get to... You get to fight with some uh, Echoes. And here we have the new Depths of Elusive Realm. As you descend to the Depths of Dreams in Sub Noir, you encounter countless good and bad dreams in Twin Chaos, while your friends also appear. On a quest to uncover the mastermind behind the chaos, you meet Eats, 
the fear you once faced. Ooh, interesting. And um, I assume it's going to be the dreamless, right? Because dreamless, dreams, slumberland, makes sense, right? And uh, this is where you can get the new Phantom Echo, as well as a lot of resources that you need. That's really awesome. Points paint the event to obtain the Phantom Echo. Damn. Uh, Aloy Smell 2 is back. So this was in the big place with the drill thingy. Shi Lang has been conducting research on optimizing Aloy properties. A unique sonorous sphere has emerged recently, and Shi Lang discovered that Aloy has, he has forged possesses exceptional abilities in this domain. There it is. So that's the same as we had before. And now we have the, the returning events, better rewards, all the good good. So overall, very, very cool looking. But from the looks of it, it doesn't seem... Um, it does not seem that we're getting a main quest uh, in 1.2. So that's cool. Uh, and of course, here to talk about how you can just participate in the event and get a free Shangli Yao. Overall, really awesome. Really looking forward to it. I think there's a lot of good stuff incoming in here. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. We're getting the Shangli, Shangli Yao for free, and I'm going to be trying to get Jeji. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're going to be pulling for any of those characters on top of the free rewards we're getting. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Like, subscribe, comment on the good good, and 